So here are three things to know at this 10 o'clock hour. Some parts of the state got more than a foot of snow. The state DOT has every available plow out on the roads, and we do know Bradley International Airport is open and operating, so we want to check in uh, right now with meteorologist Melissa Cole for up-to-the-minute forecast information. I was thinking of you, Melissa, this morning when you said most of this will be on the ground by the time you're getting up and about this morning, and it was, so maybe we can just have fun if you have a snow day. <laughs> exactly. You know what? Now's the time to get outside and enjoy it. I'm sure a lot of people are doing their driveways right now as the snow is winding down. We've had some Beautiful scenes coming into the Weather Center. This one sent in from Kim in Lebanon, and it's just the quintessential New England picture with that red barn and the snow on everything. It is absolutely gorgeous. So thank you to everybody sending in your photos. We love your photos. We love your snow reports. You can send them to weather3 at WFSB.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, we're, we're on it all. So feel free to send us what's going on in your neighborhood. Now, here are some of the totals. Um, and you know what? I just got an email in from Colchester that it's it's now 14 inches, so I'll update that in a few minutes. But 14 inches in Hampton, 13 inches in Pomfret, Colchester, 14 inches, Higginham, 12 and a half inches, Glastonbury, um, 8.8 .8 inches, and in Farmington, 7 and a half inches of snow. So it really depended on where you lived across the state. This was a tough one to forecast. We knew we would have some heavy snow bands setting up across the state. It's always kind of hard to predict where those are going to set up and where they did set up. Well, it certainly exceeded our snowfall predictions, not just by a little, by a lot. A lot of people uh, waking up to perhaps more snow than anticipated, and, and rightly so. 